Hello, my name is Jonathan Guthrie, and welcome to our Getting Started with Perfect series. Today we are going to demonstrate using the Perfect Assistant application to start a new server-side Swift project using the Perfect template as a foundation. First of all, if you haven't already got the Perfect Assistant application, I suggest that you visit perfect.org and click on the Assistant link. There you will find the link to download the Perfect Assistant. So let's go and open the application to get started. On the welcome screen, click on the Create New Project button. This will slide down a sheet where the first button is the Perfect Template App. This is the button we want, so go ahead and click it. Then press Next. Use the Browse button to choose a location for your app. Create a new directory for this application if, as needed. Note that back in the Perfect Assistant, the project name is the name of the folder you chose. You can change this if you wish. For the purposes of this demo, let's uncheck the Integrate Linux Builds with Xcode project. This unlocks features that are beyond the scope of what we're showing in this video, but will be covered in another video, so or check out the documentation for this. Once you press Save, the Perfect Assistant will go ahead and create the project, downloading all of the dependencies and creating your Xcode project file. Once complete, your project will also be listed in the Projects list on the left. It shows you the dependencies already in the project, as well as the others that you can include by dragging them in as required. From here you can also open the project directory in the Finder, or in a terminal window, and open the Xcode project. Let's go ahead and do that. In Xcode, let's first organise our workspace a little. I'm going to close the right side utilities pane as it's not relevant in this context. And next I'm going to open the debug console space. Let's first look at package.swift. You will see here that it set the name of the project demo1 and given us the base dependency of the perfect HTTP server. However, if we open the sources directory, you will see a number of other dependencies that have automatically been added to our project, like perfectlib, the OpenSSL, the thread library, the net library, and others. These have been added because they are sub-dependencies of the HTTP server module. Inside our project source directory is a main.swift file. This contains the code for running our web server template. It contains one simple handler and one simple route. The handler is just going to output an HTML document with a title and body of Hello World. Let's go ahead and run it. In the Scheme drop-down, make sure that you select the terminal-looking black icon and make sure that My Mac is the target selected. Then press the triangle Run button. Once it's done a build, Xcode executes the application and you will see in the lower right hand side of console view that it's also started two HTTP servers on ports 80, 80 and 8181. The fact that it started two servers is really just for demonstration purposes. Actually the one we want is on port 8080. So in a browser let's go and visit localhost port 8080. There it is, hello world, and that's all there is to it. If you want to add more routes and handlers, it is as simple as adding more handler functions and routes. This is covered in the documentation or can be seen in other examples and will also be covered in future videos. If you are looking for documentation, it's all there on the website. For examples, visit 
github.com, perfect examples. There is an ever-growing library of examples and demos there. And of course, if you're looking for live help from our awesome community, join our Slack channel via perfect.ly. Thanks for being with us today, and don't forget to say hi on Slack.